Welcome to the C-Suite at the Open. I am Omar Kafegi, Manager of Corporate Access, and joining me today is Reveal Absol, the CEO of Next Hydrogen Solutions. Next Hydrogen Solutions is a company that recently started trading on the TSX Venture under the symbol NXH. Reveal, welcome and thank you for joining me today. It is a pleasure, Omar, to, uh, to be here. Thank you for having us. So to start off, can you tell us about Next Hydrogen and what is the problem that you're looking to solve? Yes. So Next Hydrogen is a water electrolysis company. What that means is we take electricity to break the water molecule, which is H2O, into hydrogen and oxygen. And when you use renewable electricity to break the water molecule into hydrogen uh, and oxygen, it's called green hydrogen. That green hydrogen is a very uh, uh, energy rich fuel that can be used to decarbonize the transportation space as well as the industrial space. Why that's important is because fossil fuels are, are the leading contributor to carbon emissions, which is leading to global warming. And as such, green hydrogen can be a substitute uh, to fossil fuels in allowing us to reduce the carbon emissions and fighting the climate change challenges which are facing us at this time. So Reveal, I believe that your electrolyzer design is one of your competitive advantages. Can you expand on why that is? Yes. So we have been at this for about 14 years. Uh, the company was founded in 2008 by pioneers in the water electrolysis space. We have been building electrolyzers for a really long period of time, going back to 1990s. And as a result, we understand what the challenges are with alkaline water electrolyzers. So what we focused on was deep bottlenecking the, uh, uh, necking the fluid and gas flow through the electrolyzer module in order to improve the characteristics of the electrolyzer module. And uh, what we have is a design that enables high current density operations. What that really means is using less materials in an electrolyzer to produce more hydrogen. And that gives you a cost advantage as a customer. Number two, because of the way fluids and gases flow through our system, our system is very responsive, meaning that it can ramp up very quickly when the sun is shining and ramp down very quickly when there's cloud cover, allowing you an optimum way to capture the renewable energy resources. And finally, the way the fluids and gases flow through the system, we can make these systems, the design enables these systems to become very, very big. And if you can do that, you have economies of scale. So we have three very distinct competitive advantages over the traditional alkaline electrolyzer design, which are high current density operations, leading to less material use, giving you cost advantage, uh, upfront capex advantage, uh, uh, high dynamic response, so you can better capture renewable energy resources and inherent scalability to let you benefit from economies of scale. So how do you plan on maintaining that competitive advantage of your own? What, what stops any of your competitors from replicating your electrolyzer design? We have first movers advantage. But if you look at our 2008 patents, we were focused on this market since that time. Uh, we have 38 patents covering our unique design. Uh, we also want to make sure that we grow through collaborations. We recently announced our MOU with Hyundai and our focus is on making sure that we have strong strategic partners with us so we can all collaborate together to decarbonize our planet. Outside of that, there's not many notable companies in the water electrolysis space. There are less than 10 notable players in the space. The market is expected to be about $80 billion by 2030, just water electrolysis equipment alone, which allows us to gain, uh, uh, which put, positions us to gain market share uh, in this fast growing market. Now, with a large energy transition underway from fossil fuels into renewable energy. Can you talk about the importance of hydrogen in that process and what the addressable market and opportunity look like for next hydrogen? 80% of the cost of green hydrogen is renewable energy prices and we're seeing renewable energy prices continue to come down. That's allowing green hydrogen to become increasingly competitive. And then we talked about the technological innovations that we are bringing to it too. So the expectation is that by 2030, green hydrogen could almost be at parity with diesel. That allows you to decarbonize heavy mobility space where electric large, uh, where lithium ion batteries will need to become significantly bigger in order to meet the requirements, which means that less ability to carry the load that the truck was made for because the batteries become heavier. And then with hydrogen, of course, you'll have faster fueling resulting in higher acid utilization. Over on the industrial side, think about processes that cannot be electrified and require a gas. 
such as cement, steel, fertilizer, those types of industries. What we can do in that space is that since you do require a gas, we can bring upon a bring a transition to green hydrogen. And through that transition to green hydrogen, you can decarbonize these industrial processes as well as the heavy mobility applications that we talked about. Finally revealed, how will your listing on the TSX Venture contribute to the success of Next Hydrogen? Yes, I mean, we are privileged to get listed on TSX French Exchange, uh, and it's been a very exciting journey to get over here. We intend to be a global player in the green hydrogen space. We recently announced an MOU with Hyundai, uh, which which shows that we are moving in this direction. We expect to continue collaborating with blue chip organizations to decarbonize our planet and getting listed on TSX Venture Exchange will give us the necessary awareness and the fuel to continue uh, uh, growing the organization. Great. Well, Reveal, thank you so much for joining me today. And again, congratulations on your listing on the Venture Exchange. Uh, from everyone here at the Exchange, we wish you all the best and all the success in our markets. Thank you so much, Omar. Thank you for having me.